Rated PG-13. All right, job order number five. We received information that the locomotive at port cannot move. Find out what the problem is. All right, we have to get out of here for this one. It said at the port, so let's figure out where that is first. What up, Rock, for you? How's it going, man? Welcome to the stream. Thank you for the uh, follow, Dead Riser. Definitely appreciate it. I do have some new follower um, clips, as you want to call it. I got rid of the girl that was moaning. I'm starting to grow up, guys. What up, Ghost? How's it going? I feel like the EcoBoost is just like a chip that helps you out. All right, let's figure out where this port is at. Oh, jeez, it's going to have me go all the way to the other side of the map. All right, whatever. Let's get going. We've got a while to go. Watch it make me use like a crane when I get there to pick the locomotive up. Although I don't mind using the crane, but still. This might be one of the longer work orders right here. Pretty good ghost, just chilling, drinking some, uh, some whiskey and coke right now. Definitely a good Saturday night when I can stream, play some video games, and relax for a bit. Oh wow, what's this over here? This is not the port by any means. This is this what we're looking for though? Okay, that was a lot easier than what I thought. I thought it was going to be at the port all the way at the bottom of the map. Maybe I misread that work order for some reason. I was going the wrong way. Reverse. MSHP, do you have the EcoBoost in your car? I know Crusher was asking that. Or do you have the uh, V8? I don't think they make a V8, do they? Maybe they do. <laughs> Ghost. <laughs> oh man, Who, who's your team? That's the real question. I won't hate on you unless you say like Man United or something. Tell me it's like Swansea City or another thing like that. Thank you Ghost for the fall, definitely appreciate it. Oh, really? Really? You're gonna make me turn around? I don't know why the tracks switch like that. It sucks. There we go. Now we should be headed to the right direction. Oh man, no! I would have been better off to said Manchester City. For the love of God. All right, man. I appreciate you following me, anyways. I'll never agree with your choices in life. But I'll be honest. I like red better than blue. But that's just a color choice, not my team choice completely different. Alright, finally back in the workshop. Let's look at the work order again. Alright, left piston tank was damaged. Replace the piston tank pipe. Repair the piston and the piston grip. No clue where any of that would be on a steam locomotive. I hate steam locomotives if you guys watch my, my YouTube channel at all. Uh, would it be the boiler? Or is it, no, it's probably this right here. That's it. Did not like that for some reason. Okay. So maybe I have to look at the... Alright, let me get out of here. I have to look at this to take that off, I guess. Wheel's bad too. I guess let me go and get to the, to the wheel real quick. I don't see anything else bad on there. Let's get back to the front part. Alright, we'll take all this off now. Yeah, Chelsea, I just, man, I just bet $200 on the game today for the FA Cup and I won. What up, Drew? Long time no see. Glad to see you in here. What is going on? Can I not take the piston tank off? 
Yeah, you want to come off? Something up here, maybe? Oh, there we go. That sneaky little nozzle pipe in the back. We'll see what else is bad on this side. Anything? That might be it. Piston tank 2. Interesting. It tells me to look at other stuff too. Anyways, let's go to the workbenches, see what I can get. <laughs> oh man, if only I could live in uh, in London or in England. I would love it over there. Even with the crappy weather, I think I'd get over it. Alright, so I need to go to the hydraulic bench, I believe, to repair the piston. And I also need to repair the piston tank. Should be everything. Let's go put it back together and see if that's it for the work order. I didn't see any other parts that were messed up or out of place. These nozzle pipes are kind of sneaky right there. Piston in, that's a gigantic piston, Jesus Christ. Alright, and what else we got on the wheel, I believe? Some other items. Or the truck, I should say. Be more appropriate, right? What do you mean, ghost? Exchange what? I'm all confused. Alright, there we go. I think that's gonna be it. Ah, oh, this isn't over budget? How am I over budget? I replaced everything that needed to be replaced and I repaired it. Can I sell any parts? I don't think I have any parts to sell, do I? Probably didn't ask me to repair everything is why. All right, whatever, I'm gonna finish it with $1,100 though. I fixed everything I was supposed to fix. That's a kind of a bummer, I should've looked, paid more, Clint, or may, can't talk more attention to the, uh, to the budget on that one. All right, every dollar counts in this game. Basically, I'm gonna play until it switches over to the next locomotive type, which could be after this work order, and we'll start playing some Train Sim World after that. It usually goes to like work order 13, but we'll see what happens after job order number 6 here. Oh, Crusher, yeah, you're probably right. You probably lost it on that wheel. Oh, well. Hell yeah, Ghost. We, <laughs> I'll let you stay in my place downtown San Antonio for a month if you let me go over there. As long as you're not living with your mom or anything. Unless she cooks really good, then I'll be okay with that. Anyways, the locomotive broke down along the route and was towed to the workshop. The wheels are blocked and the locomotive could not move. Find the cause of the defect. 500 for the work order, 500 for being under budget. All right, so three parts I need to find. I could already see it as it came in. I mean, super easy. The wheel connectors, from the looks of it. And the connecting rod. That should be everything right there. Yeah, I'm gonna go repair it. Job order number six may be the quickest one yet. What up, Jesse James? How's it going, man? Welcome back to the stream again. Nice to see you. No drinking while driving big trucks. Well, I might be drinking and driving here in a little bit. Yes, I will be getting Star Wars Battlefront 2, even though I wasn't particularly happy with the first one. I only played it for like 20, 30 hours. But I'm glad to see that they're putting uh, single player back in the game from what I've read. That's pretty awesome. And final connecting rod. Let's look at the work order. We are under budget. That's the full work order as well. That's the end of job order number six. <laughs> you drinking, no. Drew, the only reason you watch me is because I drink. You just wait for me to really jack things up. 
Where are we at? 14 plus 8 viewers. We will be doing some game giveaways in between video games. So as soon as I'm done with this, we'll do a free game giveaway before switching to Train Sim World. Same thing when switching to ATS. I did change when I'm doing the 8K subscriber stream. I believe it's going to be uh, next Friday night. And we'll be doing probably 20 game giveaways and a Steam gift card as well for that. Job order number seven, received a report about a loud noise that came from the vicinity to the mountain pass. We suspect that it may be related to a steam locomotive that was passing the way. Check what the problem is. $1,300 total, if, if I'm under budget. Problem is we gotta leave the garage and go find this thing. So those of you guys that actually pay attention to soccer, Drogba just bought Phoenix Rising, or he's co-owner of Phoenix Rising FC right now. Phoenix Rising is actually coming to San Antonio, um, I think in about a month or so, and he's supposed to play here at Toyota Stadium in San Antonio, so I'm pretty excited about that. Can I look at my work order somehow? So I forgot what it said, where I was supposed to go. Oh, Mountain Pass, Never mind. it tells me up there. So I just need to go right, right. Alright. It's too late to hit the right on that. There we go. That should get me there. Yeah, so Dieg, 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 I don't know how to pronounce his first name, Drogba, which I think I'm wearing a Drogba shirt. There you go. I'm gonna have to wear this to the game, even though. People at San Antonio are gonna try to fight me for wearing a Drogba shirt. But he will be playing at Toyota Stadium in San Antonio, which is insane if you think about it. He's in the USL, but he's basically part owner of the team and he's gonna play for fun, basically, is what it sounds like. So I'm pretty happy about that. All right, here's the locomotive. Luckily, we didn't have to go too far or drive too far to get to it. And we don't have to use the crane either, which is nice. It always switches this track automatically for some reason, I think. We should be good now. A little horn action right there. Uh, see you in a minute, Ghost. What? See that? I swear to God, my, my switch was not like that. Oh well, we're still going to the right place. It's kind of annoying having to go all the way around. There we go. I think this is job order number seven or eight. Get off hand. Number seven, still on seven. Front cylinder needs to be repaired. I could see it as it was coming in. It's the big front cap piece right here. Let's see how hard this thing is to take off. All right, so we gotta take off quite a bit of items. need to look at the front to take all these items off and to get that off I have to look at this other piece over here can I take this off here uh, of course not. I have to look at the truck to do that piece there we go we'll go back with the front on both sides too unfortunately okay let's go take a look around here same thing I got to exit out look at the truck again on this other side over here just to take this one piece off then I have to go back and look Take the rest of these pieces off. Yeah, rock for you. Did take the scenic route, that's for sure. 
Yeah, it test flight, it's a default sound. I was giving it props when I first started, but everybody's telling me the sounds in the game are pretty lame. All right, so how do I take off these? I'll take that off too. All right, get out of there. Let's start with the front pieces. How do I take the handlers off? have to look at the back to do it. Alright. Maybe look on the top down there. Maybe look at the bell maybe. Here we go. Okay, there we go. Probably gotta take these pieces off too. Gotta to do that just in case. Back at the front. All right, take the smoke box off. We just need this piece off, which I think it's the boiler, but I could be wrong. Hopefully that's it that's connected to that front piece. There we go. All right, about time. So the only thing we need to replace is a smoke box. I'm gonna remember that when doing this. Uh, that was a lot of stuff right there. So smoke box would be right here. Jesus, we took off a lot of parts just to do that. Kind of sad, but whatever. No, I don't want to do that yet. I'm going to do the middle piece. Then start putting putting everything or piecing everything back together. And one last piece right there. Back to the other side. Without the without the smoke box being on crusher, is that what you meant? Did look a little crazy. Cross brace. Let's see if we can do the front piece. rest of the, uh, the boiler to do the other pieces. If I can just look at the front, it'd be nice. There we go. There's one. Two underneath, or is there four underneath? I can't remember. I think there's four pieces. I can see it. It'd be nice. Jesus. There we go. It's like I'm missing a pipe over here. Maybe not. So 
get everything? I don't think that's everything. Uh, what am I missing? on the, uh, the boiler right here. Yeah, it is. There's one of them. There's one more pipe that looks like. That's oh, on the other side. There we go. Still missing one. Right there. Alright, now it should be good. Under budget? Nope. So I have more parts. Let's look at the smoke box up front again. It's probably on there, I'm assuming. Oh. Alright, now we gotta look at what parts we have. Connecting rods. Oh, be on the trucks. There we go. Forgot about these guys. Now let's see if we can close that work order number seven. We're under budget, full three thousand. Jesus, ghost, four in the morning. We well, are in the UK, so that makes sense. All right, that's work order number seven right there. Let's go back to the uh, table. Start on work order number eight. Don't you know